everyone, it's Wendy and this is So It Begins. It's a series where I'm breaking down some sewing basics so that you could actually get started with sewing. In the first episode, I covered sewing supplies to get you started. In the second one, we talked about sewing machines. And in this one, I'm going to give you some advice on how to store and organize your supplies and machines once it all comes in. If you love a good declutter and organize OCD, I really hope this video delivers on all of that pleasing and satisfying aesthetic. This video is sponsored by Buns, which is a local trading app. You've heard me talk about it before. I love it, and so I wanted to share that as one of the sustainable options for how to move things along. And I will close off with some storage options if you have just a little bit of sewing stuff, if you're on your way, and if you're like me and have a whole room dedicated to sewing. I'm going to be mentioning a lot of different links, so don't forget to check in the description. And here's me wishing future Wendy the best. I hope she succeeds at figuring out this video. First up, my room is really messy right now, so let's go clean. I didn't think I had a lot of clothes, but you'd be surprised. This box, I believe, I have been keeping fancy dresses and skirts that I've made. Like, it feels weird to sell my stuff, but it feels weird to keep it forever when I'm not gonna wear it. And then this box underneath, this is where I keep my transitional clothing. In the winter, summer stuff is here, and in the summer, winter stuff is here. Uh, okay. Feeling right from head to toe, light it up and let it roll, here I go. Why did I make so many dresses? For the items that I feel like I can still get value out of, I've been using an app called Buns, as you guys probably know. And here, people post stuff that they're looking to trade. They feel like it's not garbage yet, and it could still get some love in someone else's hands. So I go here, I can take a photo. Let me just do this so I can show you how it works. And then here, we can make it whatever it's called describe it and we can publish it. Earlier today I posted my old iPhone cases. Give me up for that banana protector, <laughs> foam hair curlers, marble contact paper. These are the storage boxes that I decided I don't need anymore so people can check out photos of them. There's a little map to show what region I'm in. I think people have already been messaging me about those. So with this person she's interested in my crepe paper so we're talking about that. This person I'm getting rid of my IKEA desk and I noticed that she has shoe spray. I don't know who's really winning out of this, but I'm happy about it, so <laughs> there we are. Bye-bye. Okay, I just wanna jump in here. Sorry, I have a mint. If you're looking to declutter, give Buns a try. It kind of just takes enough people in a neighborhood to get it going, and then there's so much fun to be had. Dan always complains that I'm kind of addicted to Buns. It's kind of nice too, cause there's a sustainability aspect in me passing on something instead of throwing it in the trash, and also me getting something from other people that didn't have to get thrown into their trash. And, one last thing, I also, to help with this whole organization, well, to help with this whole organization, setup that we're doing, I spent some bits, which is like a digital currency inside buns. I got this basket. Look, who can hate on a nice wire basket? I got this from a store in my neighborhood that accepts bits. Thank you, I can put it in my own bag. Okay, cool. Now let's get organized.
Dan is going to help me show how I organize. I didn't know I was a guest <laughs> yeah. in this. I'm just taking, I'm just filming. <laughs> just filming. Okay, this is where I sit to do my sewing. I can link all of the supplies in the description so I don't have to describe it all. But this is my chair. I sit here. And then down here, this has been really helpful, but I just slide out a lot of my supplies out here so that I can grab it real quick. This is like a cute way to keep your dustbin out of sight but also on hand. This <laughs> giant piece of furniture is a Murphy bed. When people want, they can come sleep over. And then this is an Ikea locker system that I got from Ikea. And inside each <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thunk? I just try to store it based on similar themes. This is all like electronics, sewing supplies just personal stuff and then up here this is where i keep my extra fabric <laughs> so the general thing i try to stick to when organizing fabric is that you should organize it based on season you'll be much more reminded of the fabric that you have because you'll see it this one is not fabric at all it's just more sewing supplies but it's high up here because it's stuff that i don't touch as much so i just keep it up there okay now for season Summer slash formal wear. Cottons, gingham, linens, they're all here. Decorative, pretty fabric. You might recognize some of these. And then up here I've got some mesh. This is left over from a workshop I did last year. And I really need to figure out how to use it because I have a lot. Here is my winter stuff. The faux fur, wool, some like heavy, terry, more wool, ribbed knits, like what Mary Kondo teaches folding it in a way where you can see all of it so that you do not forget that they exist and then accidentally buy more fabric, which no <laughs> happens one, all the time. No one can relate to that. The pegboard, just because this is my own studio space, it's kind of nice to actually put all my tools where I can see them and reach them easily. I actually really am into this bobbin thing because they're just like, they hold it so perfectly. Little baskets, these are from the dollar store. These are just like the standard storage units you can get. I've got all my threads there. And then here I tried to make it feel like a little shop. So I have all my supplies hanging and you can see the elastics, ribbons, uh, regular zippers, invisible slash decorative zippers. And then down here is just like a mess of projects waiting to happen my sewing machine, and my Judy. The backdrops? Backdrops? Oh yeah, I got like my whole mess of tripods. And then this is the backdrop system. Super easy to use. I just adjust these to change the colors. All I have ever needed to film my little sequences, even though it looks like I have a big backdrop. It's not that big. Could be bigger, but maybe someday. So that's what my place looks like when I get to use a whole room for my sewing and filming setup. If you have your own sewing space, I really recommend pegboard, some lockers, and then inside the lockers, just do like all kinds of clear storage so you can see all the stuff that you have. And then the other thing I really love is my under the desk drawer because then I don't even have to get up from my chair. I just like sit there, grab the things I need and keep going. Thank you Buns for sponsoring this video. Last time I talked about Buns, a whole bunch of you jumped on it and added me, which was so sweet. Uh, if you want to trade with me, I'm in the GTA and you can find me on Buns with Wendy. And that's it for this third episode of So It Begins. Let me know what you want to see in episode four. Bye!